While the presidency says that Dabchi Christian girl not yet released will not be abandoned, some of the free Dabchi girls said the terrorists were holding Leah Sharibo back because she refused to renounce her Christian faith. But senior spokesman Gadbar Shehu said all efforts will be employed to bring Leah back to her parents. He said the president is conscious of his duty to protect all Nigerians, irrespective of faith, ethnic background or geopolitical location. We have an activist and public affairs analyst, Olufemi Lawson, joining us to discuss the release of the last Dabchi girl allegedly held for refusing um, to convert to Islam. Many thanks for joining us. Good morning. Now, now, despite the differences in that community, we also see a community that has come together to say this Christian girl must be brought back before we believe that there's been a success in having our girls back. Well, uh, that is a statement of fact. But at the same time, we must not but give credit to the government of Nigeria for getting these girls back. A lot of interpretations have been given to circumstances surrounding the abduction of these young girls and their release. But the truth is that for every sane mind, you understand that these 110 girls were purely children of the ordinary Nigerian persons, the ordinary children on the streets of Yobe, who got picked up by these terrorists and you know we must appreciate the fact that they have been released and unlike the situations we had in the past in just a month about and about two days we we're able to get over 100 girls back to their you know reunited with their families i think we must appreciate that fact but one hope we still have is a statement credited to the president yesterday that the last of these girls will be rescued. The truth is that uh, the release of the 105, you know, they're about that, and those that are dead, condolences to their family also. It's a very, the, the, the case of Leh Sharibu is very significant and I want to also appreciate the Muslim bodies and, you know, individuals who have been speaking, demanding for the release of these girls because it is very instructive to understand the reason why this girl is still being aired, she has refused to deny her faith as a Christian. And over the time, there has been the general impression that Boko Haram is allowed to create an Islamic state, is an ideology that you know, preaches Islam. And with what happened just yesterday, at the refusal of the Boko Haram sect to release this girl based on her you know, refusal to deny her faith, it is, we are beginning to see a relationship between those claims and you know, the decision of the Boko Haram. So you said Nigerians should game. be worried? Nigeria, particularly the federal government, should be worried and should do the best that can be done to ensure that Leia is released from captivity. But we must not also forget that day in, day out, you know, a lot of people are doing a lot to ensure that the schools are safe, the region is safe, and these girls are rescued, particularly as security agencies. But, but I would ask you, how do you think the government should handle this differently? Because it's, it's different, it's very sensitive too, because we know it's about religion. How do you think the government should really handle this particular case? This, this particular case is going to create a very serious narrative that this government we ha may have to deal with for as long as we may not be able to imagine here, because now, based on the confession of the girls released and based on the of course we just heard the father and the mother of this you know still incarcerated girl speaking on the about why she's not yet released this has you know purely introduced a religious you know approach and sentiment into the war a lot of times and to us we believe boko haram is all about a war against nigerians because if you look at the record of attacks in the northeast, particularly in Borno and Yobe, more of even Muslims have been killed, they have been victims, they have been bombing in the mosque, they have been bombing in the markets where you have more Muslims than the Christian. So some of us, we saw it as a war against the ordinary people of Nigeria. And Western education. Yeah, against Westernization. But the truth still remains that there is an underlying philosophy that has always been preached. We have seen videos of, you know, videos released by the Boko Haram said, and they have always been emphatic about their firm belief in Islamization. 
And with the action taken just a few days ago with their refusal to receive Leah Sharibu, it is clear that core, one major you know, aspect of that philosophy is their opposition to the other faiths. And that is why the government of Nigeria must do everything within its mm -hmm. capacity to ensure that this girl is released. Absolutely. For people who think it is wrong to have negotiated, for people who think it is wrong to have paid ransom, I think what is most important to us as a nation is to ensure that we protect all, li especially the life of our children. Now, finally, before we go, how do you think it might be easier for the young girls um, in Dabchi to go back to school? Remember, there was a warning, do not go back to school. That is a major issue for us, not only in Dabchi. Record has it that a lot of schools today in the Northeast are scanty. A lot of children are running away from school. And I've often said this, the Boko Haram war, it's a war against education, particularly that of the girl child in Nigeria. And we must see it from that prison because today, if we succeed in, in, you know, in allowing this element you know, to chase our children away from school, it is indirectly you know, chasing away our future from, from, from us. Because today, the list leaders are going to be fading away in Buniyadi today, we have only few boys attending that school after the slaughter of about 50 of those children in, in their sleep. We, re we really have so much to talk yes. about. We have so just a little time to talk and about And finally, this. I think we must commend our nation's security forces, mm -hmm. particularly the Nigerian Army, for the works they are doing mm -hmm. in the Northeast. Absolutely. I was there a few days ago, and I think they are doing a lot to protect lives and properties in that region. Good work. Thank you so much, Olufemi Lawson, for your time on the broadcast. It's my pleasure. Appreciate it. Now, sporadic gunshots were heard at Dong community just north local government area. The community is close to Basa local government. Five soldiers were killed days ago in the same community. Reports say residents of um, Basa have relocated, of Dong rather, have relocated to Joss Town to find shelter. And TVC News correspondent Phnom Joshua is standing by to give us more updates on this. Phnom, thanks for your time. Good morning. Good morning. Now, what updates do you have for us? It was the same community where we had um, our security officials killed, about five of them, days ago. What is happening? Well, uh, right now I'm, I'm in Dong community where, you know, a non-government came yesterday and we're shooting sporadically. As I'm talking to you, two people are killed, you know, yesterday in the course of the attack. And I'm here in the community. It's, it's somehow tense. Despite the fact uh, that there are some security operatives here that have been deployed to the community, but you know you could see people moving, you know, with their luggage, leaving the the community to to, to the city metropolis. You know, even uh, right now that I'm talking to you, it's raining, but people are leaving with their luggage. You know, women and children are just moving out of the community. But so far, the security operatives have been deployed here. To, take charge of the situation, but, you know, it's still tense. But, but it seem, does it seem like the people do not trust the security operatives to protect them enough? Because you said that they are on the ground, but people are still leaving because it seems they're not certain they would be protected. Hello, the line is breaking. I can't get you well. Now, we're, we're curious about why people are still leaving the community despite the, the presence of security operatives in the community. Well, you know, there's, everybody is entitled to his own opinion, you know, on, on, on the reason why they are living. But so far, the, the people are, are, are afraid of, of, of the situation. If, if you could remember a few days ago, you know, the, the attackers, you know, where, where they came up, they, 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 they killed some, some, some of the security operatives here. So if they can actually do that, you know, people are actually scared of, you know, their yeah, lives, you know, if they can kill the security operatives, you know, what more of those that don't, are, not, are not armed? So possibly that's the, the, the fear, that's why people, you know, I saw over, over, over 20 people living in the community this morning as we just coming into the community and they are still living as I'm talking to you now. Although, you know, the security operatives and some of the community leaders are actually, you know, having a meeting right now, but people are still living and, you know, the, the, the town is still somehow tense. Like, and have you been able to speak with a representative of the of the government? We are we are about to start doing now before the, the call came in. But you know, yeah, they, they, they actually you know, mm -hmm. they, they asked us to to, to to hold on that the 
have some difficult that will talk to us now, but so far, you know, okay. we are in a meeting, and possibly the outcome of the meeting you know, is what we are holding on. Okay, Phenom, we'll, so we'll let you... People are confirmed to be killed. Mm. Thank you, Phenom. We'll let you um, keep an eye on what's happening and give us an update when you can. We we'll appreciate you. You're watching TVC News. We'll go on a quick break and return with more stories. Stay with us on TVC News.